I was able to launch two SaaS startups in just two months using local tools and AI. And here are four reasons why your next app should be built with these tools. And make sure you stick around till the end of the video because I'm going to be sharing my favorite local tool at different parts of this video. All right, reason number one is speed. The number one goal when you start up is to validate your idea. Traditional software development techniques still take between six to eight months to just launch your MVP. Ain't nobody got time for that. However, with local tools, you can launch your MVP in two to three weeks, which is really powerful. So while your competitors can only validate twice, maybe thrice a year, you could validate new ideas every month. That's six to eight times more. That my friends is a huge advantage. The other advantage is that once you start building apps using local tools, you can reuse many parts of that app for your future development builds as well, making you faster each time you build your next app. In the startup world, speed is everything and using local tools will give you little superpowers. Reason number two is focus. Once you build your first app, you will realize that marketing, positioning, sales, customer onboarding is as important as building the app. You see, building an app without spending time on the marketing and sales side of it is like throwing a party and not inviting anybody to it. The advantage of building with local tools is that you get the bandwidth or the time to focus on these other very important parts of building a startup. You get more time to speak to customers. You get more time to build better landing pages. You get more time to focus on the copy of these landing pages. You get more time to post on social media and engage with users there. You get to focus on customer onboarding and the experience that they get. And you get to focus on how to retain your customers for a long time. In short, you get to focus on making your app a success and not just focus on developing the app. Remember, people don't care about your tool per se. They don't care about what technology you use. They care if your product can solve a problem that they have and using local tools allows you to focus on the problem and the customer. Until local tools really caught on, it was very difficult for us to focus on these other parts as well because a lot of our time went into building the app. And here's the deal, we only have like four or five productive hours a day and local tools help us leverage the maximum ROI for those hours, helping us truly leverage our time for the best use cases. Okay, reason number three is affordability. It's actually cheaper to build and launch your MVP on a low code platform than it is to build and launch using traditional methods. And I know what that sounds like, but it is true. For example, Superbase, a Firebase alternative, allows you to have up to 50K active users on their free plan. More than enough to get started, more than enough to launch your MVP. Now, this wasn't true maybe eight to 10 months ago, but today, local tools have become so good and the competition is so fierce. And most importantly, there are so many open source low code tools out there that allow us to build at light speed for close to $0. Even today, the cost of running Evalo and Antho doesn't come up to more than $20, $25 a month for me. But if I had chosen the traditional route, I would have ended up paying a lot more for servers, for buying templates, for maintenance. And let's not forget hiring developers to actually build stuff for me because I don't know how to code. Okay, reason number four is scalability and security. Many people think that local tools are not scalable. They're probably good for hobby projects or, you know, for something small. This wasn't possible before, but recently local tools have become so optimized and they're quite simply just a visual layer on top of basic code like Flutterflow, which has made software development so easy that leading banks in India like Axis Bank and ICICI Bank are using this low code platform to build and maintain their apps on the iOS and Google app stores. And trust me, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for you. But here's the more amazing part. Loco tools not only really help you build and launch quickly, because Loco tools like Flutterflow integrate directly with GitHub, you can collaborate with developers on the side so they can code on the side and build certain widgets for you. And you can continue building using these visual development tools. And later on, once your MVP is ready, you can just seamlessly hand over your app to developers who can then take it and scale it. The real challenge with startups is getting to market. 
and low-code tools help you get to market quickly, affordably, without risk to future scalability and security. And all this while allowing you to focus on the other parts of a profitable and successful business. Now, if you're excited to start building with low-code, I run a cohort-based training where I teach you how to build the right apps the right way with the right tools in just 30 days. Yes, in just 30 days, you can go from not knowing anything about building apps to launching your first app. I've spent the last one and a half, two years figuring out everything there is to know in this domain. And if you don't want to waste time trying to recreate the wheel, the link is in this video's description. I'll see you on the other side.